And now it's time for the mayor's monthly notable nonprofit, Arts Iowa City. Let's head downtown to check out Boys and Girls by Number, an art installation by Cody Gosselman. Oh, my ears got it. I have little elf ears. This should hold just fine. <laughs> There you go. Do you guys know how to do P by number? You get to decide what color it is. So you look at the word and decide what color that would be. It, it is a paint by number, uh, two portraits paint by number that the numbers don't actually correlate to um, colors, they correlate to adjectives. So the people who are painting are deciding, um, you know, so what I can see from here, respectful, oily, adored, those are some of the, the adjectives. So they have to decide what color those adjectives would be. You can guess that this looks nothing like the original painting. So the two portraits, it's uh, Pinky and Blue Boy. Um, two unrelated paintings from the 18th century that in the 1920s a collector named Henry Huntington bought them and hung them together in his California mansion and it sparked the imagination of the American public. This was also the time in the 1920s that um, the color trend used to be dressing boys in pink. That was considered strong, passionate, appropriate for boys, whereas um, girls were dressed in blue because that was considered um, meek, um, delicate, more appropriate for girls. So some conjecture that the pairing of these two portraits had to do with the, the reversal of the color, the color trend for dressing girls and boys. <laughs> so the beards and the tutus are just an easy way to, to have fun with, you know, what we consider appropriate for our genders. Yeah. 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 Yeah.